Hey everyone, my name is Mandy. I work at the Bridge Teen Center. Hope you are staying safe and healthy. Well, today I wanna to show you how you can repurpose items that you can find at home into really cool crafts. Well, the first craft I wanna show you is button art. So these are the supplies that you need. First of all, you need some buttons. Now I found these at the Bridge Thrift Store, so when they reopen again, make sure you check out their craft section. I shop there all the time, it's so much fun. They've got a lot of cool stuff. So you're gonna need some buttons. Um, if you plan on maybe checking out your mom's sewing stash, please make sure that you ask for permission first. That's definitely a must. Um, next, you will need a surface. So I like to use small art canvases. They're just blank. Um, they're pretty thin, but it's like a hard surface. So that is ideal. Um, if you don't have any of these, you could just use cardboard. So if you have like old Amazon boxes, you could cut those up to any size that you want, and then you've got a surface. If you don't have any cardboard boxes laying around, um, you could also use cardstock paper or even construction paper. Those will work too, okay? Um, also, you are going to need some type of glue. So the most um, ideal situation would be using a glue gun. That's gonna work the best. Um, if you don't have a glue gun, you could use Elmer's glue or even scotch tape. So any variation of those items will work. First, you wanna figure out what kind of design you wanna do. So maybe that's a certain shape or an item um, maybe you want to do someone's initials. If this is a gift, you could shape the buttons into their initials. That might be kind of cool. Um, think about what kind of colors you want to do. Maybe you want to do all one color, or maybe in just the same color family, or different colors. It's completely up to you. Just be creative, be yourself. It's going to be great. Also, if you are stumped on what to do, you can't think of anything, totally okay. Just go on Pinterest. They've got tons of ideas for button art. You will find something that you love. Next, you want to set up your design. So if you want to be really planful about it, you could set up a design on just a piece of paper and kind of arrange your buttons in a certain way and just kind of test it out and see what you like before you start gluing but I'm actually just gonna go ahead and start gluing. So kind of my strategy with this is that I pick out my favorite button and then I build around it. So this is gonna be my favorite button. So this is a cute little butterfly. I think it's really fun. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue on that. Now make sure that you don't do too much unless you want um, kind of chunks of glue around the button. That's okay too. That's kind of like the messy look. Um, so. Just a little bit of glue normally though. So I would just place it wherever you want on the canvas or your surface. Um, you could put it in the middle or on the side, whatever you want. So I'm gonna do on the side and then I'm just gonna build around it. Now make sure when you are using a glue gun, be careful because it's hot. Sometimes there's gonna be string that comes off of the button with the glue gun. And so when that happens, just make sure that you kind of let it settle for maybe like 10 seconds and then pull it away because then it'll have been cooled by that time. Okay, so we're just gonna add a few buttons around the original. And I just like to do different colors, different sizes. And I'm also sticking within the same oopsies, color family I really like teal and blue and those kinds of colors. These buttons are also really cool because they're all really different and they're actually different heights as well, which is really cool. Like this purple one is a little bit higher than the others. like you can kind of see that it's a little bit higher, right? I'm just gonna do one more. And again, you can do any kind of design that you want. So 
So there you go. I would probably build around this a little bit more, but just for the sake of showing you, I'm only gonna do a few. And I'm actually gonna show you a different one that I finished already, so you can kind of see a finished product. So this time I used pink, I love pink. And again, I just kind of built around this heart button. That was my favorite, so I just kind of built around it, made kind of a cool sculpture, kind of a flowing sculpture. So um, it's just kind of cool. It's like all different heights, different sizes, shapes. So I hope you like it. So that concludes our button art craft. So hope you enjoyed it. The best thing about this is that you can just find items in your house and repurpose them into cool crafts. Next, we're gonna turn it over to Emily for some more repurposed projects. Happy crafting. Hi, Bridge students. I'm so excited to be here today. And I just wanna say first off that I miss you so much. And I'm so excited for the day that you guys can be back here in person and we can have you and um, just be spending some time with you one-on-one um, -on -one or in group settings or in programs, stuff like that. Um, but for now, I'm just gonna give you a couple of ideas of something you can do at home to um, kind of get creative with repurposing at home. Um, so I've got a couple pairs of jeans. I'm sure we all have these at home, whether they're you've outgrown them or maybe they have a hole in an area that they you don't want them to or maybe they have a stain like these ones. Um, and I'm just going to show you a couple of different projects that you can do to still use those jeans even though they may have lost their initial purpose. So today we're going to make jeans into a pair of shorts to get ready for the warmer months coming up. Um, so what you're going to do is the first thing is you kind of want to decide how long you want your shorts and then you want to cut them about two inches longer than your preferred length. Um, and I'll get to that and explain why in a minute. So then you're gonna just go ahead and choose the length that you want. Um, something helpful, you can put the jeans on and kind of measure and do that. I used to do that, but now I've just made shorts so often I kind of know how short I want them. So you're gonna cut across, make sure you're not cutting um, straight across. You do wanna cut at an angle, kind of following the layout and the length of the pants. Otherwise your jeans will look, or your shorts will look a little bit crooked. Okay, great. So then after you cut one side, you're gonna flip it over because you wanna make sure that your shorts are the same length on each side. It would be a little bit awkward if one leg was a little bit longer than the other. And then you're gonna use that as a template and you're gonna cut the same um, length on the other side. Um, just a quick fun fact for you. I've actually never bought a pair of shorts at um, the store, I almost always either use old jeans that I've had around the house or I go to a thrift store like the Bridge Thrift Store and grab a pair of jeans that are there um, and then cut them. It just helps with saving money and also it is helping with repurposing and sustainable shopping. So yeah, so you're going to cut all the way across and then you're going to get to the seam, which is a little bit trickier, but again, as long as you have a sharp pair of scissors, it should be no problem. So then you have a pair of shorts, they look great, right? Well, um, the problem is if you flip them open, they kind of look like you just cut them. So you can either fray the ends with your fingertips or you can also um, wash them and you'll, they'll get the frayed edges. But what I like to do actually is I'll roll the jeans um, just so it looks like there's kind of a hem without actually having to sew one. And then it looks a little bit more like um, you didn't just cut them and go, they look a little bit more put together. So then I'll flip the other side and do that as well. And then it'll look pretty good just like that. Looks great. And then you flip them open and there you have it. You have a perfect pair of summer shorts. I want to challenge you a little bit um, to use the excess. If you can come up with a creative idea of something to do with the rest of the jeans, I'd love to see it. Um, so share it with us so we can see all of your projects. Um, we hope you had fun today with Mandy and I just um, experiencing a couple different ways to create in your own home with things that you already have.